Hello friend, welcome to my channel Social Share Education. In this video, I will write essay on Buddha Jayanti or Buddha Purnima. Buddha Jayanti, also known as Buddha Purnima, is one of the most significant and widely celebrated festivals in the Buddhist calendar. It marks the birth, enlightenment, and death, Parinirvana, of Siddhartha Gautama, who became known as the Buddha. Celebrated on the full moon day of the month of Vesaka, April or May, Buddha Purnima holds profound spiritual, cultural, and historical significance for millions of Buddhists around the world. Siddhartha Gautama was born in Lumbini, in present-day Nepal, around the 6th century BCE. Born into a royal family, he led a sheltered life until he encountered the realities of human suffering during his visits outside the palace walls. These encounters with old age, sickness, and death led him to seek the truth about human existence and the path to overcoming suffering. Renouncing his princely life, Siddhartha embarked on a spiritual quest, practicing severe asceticism before ultimately attaining enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya, India. Thereafter, he became the Buddha, or the Awakened One, and spent the rest of his life teaching the Dharma, the principles that lead to the cessation of suffering and the attainment of Nirvana. Buddha Purnima is observed with reverence and devotion across various countries, each with its unique customs and traditions. Common to all these celebrations, however, is the spirit of reflection on the Buddha's teachings, acts of compassion, and a commitment to the path of righteousness. Temples and monasteries are beautifully decorated with lights and flowers, and devotees engage in chanting, meditation, and offerings. The celebration of Buddha Purnima is not only a religious observance but also a cultural and community event that brings people together in shared spirituality and service. In India, where Buddhism originated, Buddha Purnima is a public holiday in many states. Devotees throng to significant Buddhist sites such as Bodh Gaya, Sarnath, and Kushinagar. Bodh Gaya, where the Buddha attained enlightenment, becomes a focal point of the festivities. Monks and nuns conduct special prayers, and the Mahabodhi temple complex is adorned with flags, lights, and flowers. Pilgrims offer incense, candles, and flowers at the Bodhi tree, seeking blessings and spiritual merit. Sarnath, where the Buddha delivered his first sermon, also witnesses a large influx of pilgrims and tourists who participate in various religious activities and learn about the Buddha's teachings. In Nepal, Buddha Purnima is known as Buddha Jayanti and is celebrated with great enthusiasm, especially in Lumbini, the birthplace of the Buddha. The Lumbini Garden, home to the sacred Maya Devi Temple, sees a convergence of Buddhists from around the world. Devotees participate in chanting, meditation, and processions, honoring the life and teachings of the Buddha. The festival also features cultural performances, traditional dances, and community feasts, highlighting the rich cultural heritage of Nepal. In Sri Lanka, Vesak, as Buddha Purnima is called, is the most important Buddhist festival. The entire country transforms with decorations, and homes, streets, and temples are illuminated with lanterns and lights. Devotees observe Sil, which involves a day of meditation, reflection, and adherence to the precepts of Buddhism. Dana, or the act of giving, is emphasized, with many engaging in charitable activities such as providing food and donations to the needy. The observance of Vesak also includes listening to sermons, participating in processions, and visiting temples to offer prayers and flowers to the Buddha. In Myanmar, Buddha Purnima, known as Kaso, is celebrated by pouring water at the base of Bodhi trees, symbolizing the Buddha's enlightenment. Monks and lay people alike participate in this ritual, which reflects the significance of the Bodhi tree in Buddhism. Temples and pagodas host special prayers and ceremonies, and devotees engage in acts of merit-making, such as donating to monasteries, releasing animals, and offering food to monks. In Thailand, Vishak Bacha Day, as it is called, is a public holiday marked by religious observances and public celebrations. Devotees visit temples to make merit, listen to dharma talks, and participate in candlelit processions. The day is also an occasion for family gatherings and communal activities that reinforce the values of Buddhism, such as compassion, mindfulness, and generosity. 
schools and educational institutions organize events to teach students about the life and teachings of the Buddha, fostering a sense of cultural and spiritual continuity. In Japan, Buddha Purnima, known as Hanmatsuri or the Flower Festival, is celebrated on 8th April. The festival commemorates the Buddha's birth, with temples setting up pavilions adorned with flowers and placing statues of the baby Buddha. Devotees pour sweet tea over the statues, symbolizing the legend of the Buddha's birth, when celestial dragons bathe him with sweet dew. The celebration includes parades, floral decorations, and community gatherings, highlighting both religious reverence and cultural festivities. The observance of Buddha Purnima extends beyond Asia to countries with significant Buddhist communities, including those in the West. Temples and Buddhist centers in these countries host special events, meditation sessions, and educational programs to commemorate the day. The global celebration of Buddha Purnima reflects the universal appeal of the Buddha's teachings and their relevance in addressing contemporary challenges such as conflict, environmental degradation, and social inequality. Buddha Purnima is not only a time for religious observance but also an opportunity to reflect on the timeless teachings of the Buddha and their application in daily life. The Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, core tenets of Buddhism, offer practical guidance for overcoming suffering and cultivating a life of compassion, wisdom, and inner peace. On this day, Buddhists and non-Buddhists alike are reminded of the importance of mindfulness, ethical conduct, and the pursuit of enlightenment. The Buddha's emphasis on compassion and loving-kindness, metta, resonates strongly on Buddha Purnima. Acts of kindness, charity, and service to others are encouraged, reflecting the Buddha's teaching that true happiness arises from selfless actions and the alleviation of suffering in others. Many devotees engage in community service, volunteer work, and charitable activities, embodying the spirit of generosity and compassion that lies at the heart of Buddhism. Moreover, Buddha Purnima serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of living in harmony with nature. The Buddha's teachings on interdependence and the impermanence of all things underscore the need for environmental stewardship and sustainable living. In honoring the Buddha, Devotees also commit to protecting the natural world and ensuring the well-being of future generations. In contemporary times, the celebration of Buddha Purnima has also become an occasion for interfaith dialogue and understanding. The universal values of compassion, wisdom, and peace espoused by the Buddha resonate across religious and cultural boundaries, providing a common ground for dialogue and cooperation. Interfaith events and discussions held on Buddha Purnima promote mutual respect, understanding, and harmony among diverse communities, contributing to a more peaceful and inclusive world. In conclusion, Buddha Jayanti or Buddha Purnima is a deeply significant observance that celebrates the birth, enlightenment, and passing of the Buddha. It is a time for reflection, devotion, and community, honoring the Buddha's life and teachings. The celebration of Buddha Purnima spans diverse cultures and traditions, each adding its unique flavor to the observance. Beyond the rituals and festivities, Buddha Purnima is a reminder of the enduring relevance of the Buddha's message of compassion, wisdom, and peace. It calls on us to embody these values in our lives, work towards the alleviation of suffering, and foster a world of harmony, understanding, and mutual respect. As we celebrate Buddha Purnima, we are inspired to follow the path of the Awakened One, striving for enlightenment and the betterment of all beings. Thank you for valuable time.